collectors, the Weldons, had a tremendous interest right on through. Henry, I think, died in 98, and if I remember correctly, I sold him a picture when he was 97 and a half. Henry and Jimmy lived with paintings pretty much on every wall, and it always amazed me how when they would buy a new one, they would find a place for it. They ran out of room, I think, and so they bought the apartment across the hall. They just loved collecting things, and that's how they lived with it, all over the place. The Weldons, there were a couple called Henry and June. She was called Jimmy by her friends, and no one is Jimmy. They began in 1951 when they went to a small auction somewhere in downtown New York, we don't know where, and bought a painting for $16. And when they cleaned it, they found that it was signed and dated by a Willem van Elst, who's a very important mid-17th century Dutch painter. And so that kind of, I guess, spurred their interest in old masters because all of a sudden they found they'd bought one. In the sale, there are a large number of little paintings. Holland was a mercantile society. These small pictures just decorated their homes. Obviously, Jimmy and Henry had a taste for these little paintings, and sometimes they would hold fairly big walls in their house. We have a sequence of paintings, starting with a Luger Tom Ring, who's a German artist working in the 16th century. And as far as we know, he was the first artist who specialized in still lives as an art form in and of itself. And this is one of these extremely rare works by Ring. Bachart painted a group of pictures which are obviously influenced by Ring. So we actually see in the sale an amazing sequence of still lives which represent flower painting in Holland in the 17th century. There's a marvelous France Post, View of Brazil. Post got on the boat with Moritz of Nassau and painted a group of paintings in Brazil. Most of these views of Brazil are the earliest known recordings of the new world that we have. Sotheby's London sold the Weldons. It's a beautiful, beautiful picture. The painting was meant to be a collaboration between Sir Peter Paul Rubens and Jan Bruegel the Elder, who was the son of the world famous Peter Bruegel the Elder. Rubens did the figures and then sent it over to the studio to have Bruegel the Elder finish it. Just around that time, Bruegel the Elder died. And so Jan Bruegel the Younger, probably working on a design of his father, finished the painting. You have Bruegel the Younger at his absolute finest, painting a landscape with flowers and reeds, and then the two main figures painted by Rubens, which are just so intense and so beautifully painted. We also have the most wonderful little picture of Frères de Bois, or wild strawberries, sitting on a ledge, lit from the left, by Adrian Corta. Every great collector wants to have a Corta as the capstone of their collection. They are beautifully done. They are always lyrical. He was trained and worked in Holland, but he wasn't a member of the Guild, and in fact, at one point, he got sued for not being a member of the Guild. He continued to paint these beautiful little pictures. I think there's 64 in the world, and this is one of them. Henry and Jimmy became very close friends of mine. When I walk by 755 Park right now, I feel sad because they're not there anymore. But the collection is marvelous. They just collected lovely things, and if you look at this sale, you will see just one pretty thing after another. There's something quite special and not something you see very often anymore. Mm -hmm.